Hey everybody, welcome back to Wingnut's Bot. Johnny Wingnut and the Ant Man. Sup, interwebs. Coming to you live from Wingnut's Bot with some fashionably old ale. There's a collaboration between Julio's, Julio's, Julio's Liquors, and Smutty Nose. Smutty Nose. Smutty Nose and Julio's came together and made a fashionably old ale aged in barrels. Yes. Correct? It's a uh, malt beverage brewed with orange peel and aged in bourbon barrels, hand-picked by the Lock and Key Society, which is their little in-group yeah. with the uh, Julio's Liquors. It's the inner circle. They suggest to use it with a dash of uh, orange bitters. Bitters. So what we're going to do is we're going to pour out some with, some without, and see how it goes. We'll, we'll review the taste with, the taste without. without. We'll see. Yeah. We'll see what the difference is. I've never added bitters, Angostura bitters, to anything but a cocktail. I've never had anything added to any of my drinks. Oh, Angostura bitters? Never heard of it. Some good shit. Okay. Anyway, this might even be Angostura brand. It is. See? Angostura? Angostura, yeah. Orange bitters. I've orange never had bitters. orange bitters. So we're going to try this out. So you What do you think it looks like? I, mean, I got a nice, nice golden, golden amber golden color. Colorado. Golden Colorado, no, golden amber color. Pretty decent. Not too much of a head. So, very clear, crisp. All right, so we're back. We poured. We got the original. This is just straight up the uh, fashionably old ale. And then the back ones are fashionably old ale with the orange bitters. Orange bitters. There it is. So I can already smell the orange bitters. It's very strong. Oh, it's a glass bottle. Anywho. So let's smell. Okay. Smell hits of orange. Yeah. Very fresh smelling. It's not, it's not strong no. by any means. It's 11%. It's all orange. Yeah, all right, see, so the so orange bitter is definitely... With the orange bitter, yeah, it's like super powered, yeah. strong. So smell. we're definitely going to taste it without the bitters first. Yeah. Cheers. Typical ale. I don't think anything special of it. A little bit of orange, like faint. I'll say maybe a little stronger than a, a little, blue moon. A little barrel in the background. Yeah. Definitely not a front runner to the taste. Or the, or the aroma for that matter. I gotta say I'm not a fan. <laughs> Ash is weighing in on this yeah. too. All right, so yeah, definitely not a fan. Hopefully the bitters so, makes it better. You want to score the original, like without the bitters? I'm gonna give it like a four. I was going a three. Yeah, we I'm got, very generous. We got twos out there. Yeah, that's a, a two and a half. Two and, and a half. And a two. Two. All right. Okay. So orange bitters. Hopefully it makes it better. Better with bitters better with the bitters. I mean, the smell is awfully strong, so. A little. Only because the sweetness kind of balances it, but. Yeah. Oh, well, I hope you're happy with it, Julio's, because I'm not. No. It kind of, like, you know when you peel an orange and you get, like, the, uh. That spray? The spray in your you face? You can light that on fire. Can you? That oil is flammable. I am doing that next time I peel an orange. Peel an orange, then take take the take the take the peel, and then take it and like bend it. And and light it. Ha hold the lighter. Oh, psh, 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 sprays fucking flames. I am going to do that next time. Yeah, I just said that. <laughs> do not try this at home. No, we do not. Do it outside the house. Don't burn your house down. Don't I, do it at your house. Yeah, don't do it. Don't, ever. Just don't do it. This is bad. I don't think the orange bitters makes it any better. I think it just masks 
the crappiness of it. Yeah, it sucks. With orange flavoring. I'm just glad I didn't buy a ton of this. Yeah, I'm glad you didn't buy a ton of this either. Ugh. Sucks. Unfortunately, it so, sucks. So with the bitter, probably the same. What did I give it a three? Yeah, I think it's a little bit better. Ugh. We got a one out there. One with the bitters. We got a one with the bitters. Two ones. Wow. Wow, I got worse with the bitters. Yes. Somebody knows. Actually, after tasting the one with the drops of uh, bitters, bitters, the regular is better. Wow. But it's still a three. You know what this reminds me of is Cola. Are you thirsty? This reminds me of okay. when you when you take a dump. And then you spray the pulvery. It just smells like you took a shit and sprayed it with pulvery. Yeah, like the flowers, like the flower you air get, freshener. You it's like crap. shit smelling flowers. Yeah, that's what it, when you put, it's like you add the bitters to it. Yep. And it's just crap tasting with orange bitters in it. Yeah. And we're not, yeah, we're absolutely rookies to this realm of beer yeah. tasting. Yeah. Like, we know what we like. We like what we love. And we love good beer. And this isn't good beer. No. I mean, We've had good beer. We've had lots of good beer. Yes, We've we had have. some bad beer. Uh, Tokyo? Tokyo stands out, number one. I'm still hoping that when that ages, it gets better. I don't think this has any hope. No, this has zero hope. Ales are very specific. And to me, like, right off the bat, I don't like barrel-aged ales. That's just me. Yeah. But everybody has an opinion. Opinions are like assholes. Everybody has everybody one. Everybody has one. And then when you... And they all stick. <laughs> when you add orange bitters to it, just kind still of smell, still smells like an orange asshole. That's right. <laughs> All right, there you have it, folks. This shit sucks. Chive on. See you next time. Later, Julio's. interwebs.